Welcome back, people. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is another edition of Cooking with Love, and I'm Chef Green. Today, we're doing fried chicken. Um, and I want to start with you by showing you how I clean my leg quarters. Because I like to eat dark meat, but I also like to really clean my chicken. Now, one of the things that they frowned upon in culinary school was washing the chicken. So guess what I said? Get somebody else to be the one to cook the chicken because if I can't wash it, not cooking it. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna use my leg quarters. And you cut right at that joint. Sometimes, I know for me when I first started cutting chicken, it was hard to find that perfect spot being the joint. So, what I want to do is show you how I clean my leg quarters. Okay. I pull all that from there. Pull away all of like excess fat. And there's this little spot that's right here. I always cut that out. So that's like a big glob of fat in the meat. Okay, and then there's this glob of fat that's right at the back. We get all of that. And so, before I go any further, but Okay, so that's the leg, the thigh to the leg quarter. And then for as far as the the leg is concerned, I just kind of go under the skin, pull, and look at all that that's underneath there. And sometimes there's fat. Okay, so before I finish cleaning all my chicken, I want to show you real quick um, how I actually wash it after I've cleaned it. Because that is considered cleaning it, what I just did. And the way I wash it is what I'm about to show you. So, the leg is the easy one. So what I do, see, I grab and pull, pull away that sliminess. Sometimes it, yeah, there's, this one has it. There's this little layer of whatever. I'm gonna pull that away. So. My mom, I always got me to clean the chicken when she was cooking, but she was very, very impatient because she said I took too long to clean the chicken. So what I'm doing here is like in that bone there, that dip, I'm digging it out. Which is actually called the back of the chicken. And then there's this whole bunch of slime going on here up under the skin, so I take that and grab it and pull it away. I remember there was this one time I uh, was in a hurry to get dinner ready and I did a really rush job on cleaning the chicken. When we had dinner, I remember what my son at Jalen asking Julian, who who cleaned this chicken? Cause I know mama didn't clean it. He could tell after eating the done chicken that his mama had not cleaned that chicken. So 
I'm also like kind of applying pressure and grabbing away here because there's also slimy stuff right on this part. Now set it to the side on a paper towel so that it can begin soaking the water up and then that's where I'm gonna keep it laid out to season it. And we'll be back when I'm done cleaning all this chicken. All right, so we washed and cleaned and washed the chicken. Now I'm gonna use my favorite trio to season it. One of the issues surrounding the culinary um, world saying not to wash the chicken is because sometimes it will probably splash um, on areas and surfaces surfaces surrounding it. Um, the sink can, you know, that kind of thing. But my 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 thing was okay, no problem, because I'm gonna clean up after washing chicken anyway, so what's the big deal? They didn't want to clean up. So, as you can see, I've already sanitized my sink after washing the chicken. I've bleached it down really good. Soap and water, hot water. Put it into the refrigerator until I can take a moment to sanitize this area on the counter where I had it soaking the paper towel. Clean up my carrot and stuff. And we're gonna be ready to fry in just a few minutes, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I've finished sanitizing my countertop right there. And now I've uh, floured the chicken and just in it. Oops, surprising um, flour and my grease is already oh at a brisk roll so check it with a little pinch of flour to see how that flour is frying up that's going to change it's, it's pretty good right now at the rate that it's frying but once I add more chicken to the grease, it's going to change. It's going to slow down. So I'm going to turn the burner up some more to offset that temperature change. As you can see, another one of my mama's pots. You know, these other pots, I have them sitting on the stove, but I like to look at them more than I cook out. Cook in them. You know, I cook maybe some grits and rice or scrambling eggs or something like that. It's more to the set, but I just have some of that always sitting on the stove. It's gonna be kind of like a deep fry method here. Once it cooks up a little bit, we'll start to turn it. And I'm trying to turn it, but I want it to make sure it gets down in the base. Okay, and we'll be back when it's ready. Okay, so I've gotten a few paper towels and I'm going to put it down so that it can soak up the grease for the, from the chicken 
pull them out. and golden brown. All the chicken's not done yet, but ooh, they got to cool off. I thought I was still in the way to eat a piece before we all get ready. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification button. I'm Chef Green. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time for another episode of Cooking with Love. Bye-bye.